in design-based research, you often see that researchers are taking on not only multiple roles, but roles that sometimes could be perceived to conflict with each other. So you've got someone who is perhaps a designer, um, a developer, an observer, a facilitator, uh, uh, and someone who's also analyzing research data, uh, all melded into one, um, one person or one team is often also the case. And um, some of the strengths that I associate with that are uh, the fact that lines of communication are very, very short. And um, the, because so much design research is iterative, the opportunities for taking insights from one iteration or one uh, piece, even one small piece of a study, and doing something with that insight um, to get your, your iterations moving around faster, your prototypes moved along um, more efficiently, I think there are a lot of opportunities that are offered by having those close lines of communication. Um, I also know from experience, having worked on technology projects, both with the aid of a programmer and without the aid of a programmer, that um, sometimes there is a, a lot of benefit to being able to have certain pieces of knowledge within one, uh, at least one mind or again one, one team. Um, if you have a, an insight from a particular uh, pilot or something like that, and you're not really sure what to do with it, it's difficult to go to a programmer and, and say, do something with this basic problem that we have. Usually a programmer wants some specifications about what to make, so the programmer wants the solution. But in between those two places, there's a space where you're coming up with a creative answer to a solution. So if um, if a person is in, in a position where they can take on multiple roles, um, then sometimes design, design solutions are afforded more creativity because um, the person who has the insight into the problem is also the person who is able to um, work towards generating solutions. On the other hand, there are limitations to that. You know, some of some have jacks of all trades, um, but most of us are having a forte in one particular area or another one. So I, I think that a multidisciplinary team is essential to any any serious large design project. But at the same time, um, gathering at, at least an empathy, if not some basic skills in some of the other disciplines, is really important for being able to be creative uh, in solving a problem. So those are some of the benefits that I think um, come along with the multiple roles. Uh, the threats, I think, are obvious, but we can go through them. They're the, they're the things that we would <laughs> we would associate with uh, um, uh, almost any any research endeavor that involves observation, um, that involves um, uh, having to select anecdotes. So you've, you've got things like uh, the Hawthorne effect, probably magnified by a hundred. You know, um, if uh, you've got you've got risks of of teachers on questionnaires giving socially desirable answers because hey they like you and you came to their school and you gave them tea and not only that you worked with their kids on calculus or whatever. Yeah. So um, um, the, the socially desirable answer, the the, uh, the effect of just being in the classroom, the observer effect, the um, tendency to be so afraid of killing your darlings that you don't really want to select the nasty examples from your data set, you really want to pick the nice ones, is higher if you're more involved in, in the project. It's just more difficult to maintain the objectivity that researchers need to maintain. Um, I think in the end, the, it, it depends on the project, so it depends on the, the question or the problem that you're trying to address, and it depends on how you tackle it, but in most of my work I have seen the advantages to be gained, uh, to be uh, worth the risks, and I've taken measures to try and mitigate the risks that are associated with those multiple roles. Um, one of them being uh, <laughs> really straightforward, making sure that the people who are participating in the research understand the value of honesty and hard truth, and uh, making sure that they're in an environment where they feel comfortable and safe to be honest, and so that they understand that um, critical feedback is constructive and uh, that smile sheets, evaluation forms that basically end up being smile sheets are useless. Um, I've taken a lot of time to make sure that people understand that, um, <clears throat> which is also a way of getting, uh, certainly in the case of teachers, uh, involved and participatory design not only can help build their ownership but also helps uh, researchers sometimes take into consideration some more practical aspects of design, and de some designs than uh, might otherwise be the case. Another thing 
think is important to try to do to um, reduce the threats that, that are posed by taking on multiple roles is um, getting, if, in places where you, as a, as a researcher, are not able to have 100% objectivity, if that's ever possible, um, <laughs> make sure you get other critical friends who are a little bit more adept at doing that. So bring in other researchers to look at the same data, to look at the same phenomena. Um, so triangulation can come into play, not only in terms of uh, triangulation of researchers, but you could also look at triangulation method. Um, your interpretations, uh, for example, um, if you are observing what's going on in a classroom, are likely to be more subjective than someone else's interpretation of a video of that same event. Um, and you might even look at it a little bit more um, distanced if you're watching a video than when you're in that classroom with those kids that you've gotten to know and that yeah. teacher that's so great and all that stuff. Um, and certainly when you look at other 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 representations of data, so um, questionnaire data or um, test scores. There's little room for your subjectivity to get in the way because someone else has produced um, produced the stuff that you're going to work with. So if you can combine those things, um, the sources, um, the methods, and the researchers. So I would I call it I kind of think of it as triple or tri triangulation. Um, then I think that's one way to try and cut down on the, the, the threats that are posed by taking on the multiple roles. But I think we'd all be really, really foolish to say that they're not there and to try to ignore them because then we're going to be doing really bad stuff. <laughs>
I can't call it misconceptions. It's not like I know exactly what design research is, but the way that I look at it does not always mesh up with the way some people look at it.